krishna <laughs> so today we will discuss how we can <clears throat> improve our relationship with the holy names of krishna how we can chant better so <clears throat> first a little bit of uh, context all the techniques that we discuss are ultimately uh, useless because we are not going to conquer krishna or get krishna by our techniques the holy name is not achieved pure chanting is not achieved pure holy name is received bhakti is not about getting something bhakti is about receiving so you may say okay then why do we have a seminar on chanting why do we discuss the techniques of chanting it is to show krishna that we are sincere and we want to improve our relationship with krishna and we show our sincerity by making some efforts hoping that krishna will be pleased and then out of his own sweet pleasure he will give us taste so taste for pure chanting is a gift that krishna gives but enthusiasm is our effort so we can only practice enthusiasm and then when we sincerely present this to krishna krishna will give us taste so we are doing this seminar today also and we are going to discuss how to chant but the whole idea is when we discuss this please remember we are not trying to be controllers we come to material world trying to be controller and enjoyer then we come to spiritual life and here also we think i can control my spiritual life bhakti yoga is based on receiving grace so this has to be very very clear otherwise we will become mayavadis in the guise of devotees we will do holy name seminars but always our mood will be how i can conquer how i can be great yogi we are not yoga we are not yogis mystic dhyan yogis we are bhakti yogis so our mood is humility our mood is you know begging krishna for help for grace so this is the introduction in this mood we approach the chanting and then we experience wonderful uh, levels of happiness and spiritual realization so now coming to chanting how many of you are chanting some rounds of hare krishna japa every day on your beats hare krishna 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 13 okay thank you thank you so this will be useful for those who chant every day with a disciplined manner some rounds some of us chant for 2 hours 16 rounds some of us chant for 1 hour so we chant like this hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare 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 krishna like that we chant and then when round is over we pull the counter beat down so like this we chant for many years some of us are chanting 16 rounds every day for 25 years some of us have just begun chanting now there are some basic etiquette or basic rules that we need to follow if we don't follow them what happened okay if we don't if we don't follow these basic rules then what will happen we will get bad habits and those bad habits will make us very disconnected from chanting so today we'll discuss some good habits or good methods by which we can chant like this every day for the rest of our lives happily because one of the biggest challenges is because chanting becomes boring because chanting is not it's all about the mind right physically you are not doing anything you are just sitting and fingering the beats hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare hare two hours you are sitting like this it is not exciting it is not stimulating and today we are living in an age of stimulation constantly you need a dopamine kick on your smartphone and uh, sitting sitting like this on the bead bag very boring therefore see if you are playing tennis if you are doing learning karate if you are learning bharatanatyam there is activity going on there is action right that's why it is easy to concentrate because there is some activity 
whereas chanting is all about the mind it's all about absorbing your heart in krishna therefore it's very easy to get distracted while chanting therefore we need some very very good basic practices and habits for so that's the introduction that is the basic uh, premise of our discussion on chanting so now the most important thing to understand is there are two levels at which we chant first level is we are struggling with the we are living in the world of our mind when i say mind i mean mind plus intelligence plus ego combining all of that we are calling it as mind so one level of chanting is at the level of the mind are you krishna are you struggling mind is going everywhere sometimes we are indulgent many of us chant at the level of the mind when we become sincere for the first level of sincerity is when we rise from the level of the mind and we chant at the level of the soul this is the first level of sincerity we rise from the mind and reach the level of the soul today we'll do we'll discuss and we'll do an exercise by which you can reach the level of the soul while chanting and this is going to be intense but it will be very very immediately you'll get benefits so first level of chanting is our very low level where we are living in the world of the mind but we become sincere when we rise from the world of the mind and come to the level of the soul that is the first level of sincerity then there are some pure devotees who don't even chant at the level of the soul they go higher they level at they chant at the level of the soul's emotional dynamics and relationship with krishna at the level of the super self so that also we will study what it is and then so basically we are going to discuss two levels of chanting first level of chanting is how from the world of our own mind worries anxiety ego intelligence all that kachra how to get out of this level and come to the level of the soul that is the first topic we'll discuss now after that we will discuss how from the level of the soul we can enter the world of krishna in our chanting is that okay so all of you have something uh, to write on because i'm going to give an exercise either your smartphone or paper pen because there is an interesting exercise if you do you will understand how to recognize the soul how to be at the level of the soul <clears throat> so we are going to do soul level awareness exercise now by which you can come to the platform of soul immediately this is going to be very very powerful exercise this is a life changing exercise so you need to be present <coughs> and you can't be just sitting and watching you you will feel lost first we will do a writing exercise and then we will do with the beats okay so before we go ahead what is the context or what is the disclaimer before this chanting seminar that we discussed what is most important for us to remember before we discuss anything on improving chanting we cannot, we cannot conquer krishna we are not here to become great yogis bhakti is not about achieving bhakti is about receiving grace then why are we discussing these techniques to show our sincerity to krishna so then we discussed two levels of chanting first level of chanting sincere chanting first level of sincerity is where we where we rise from the mind intelligence ego to the level of the soul then we'll discuss how the soul has exchanges with krishna the dynamics hmm? so that is what we'll discuss first level is where we approach hari naam and we transcend our mind so how do we do that so please understand that i am not the body i am the soul also i am not the mind i am the soul all of us our identity is merged with the mind even when we chant it is our mind only talking so today we will first learn how to separate yourself from your mind once you learn how to separate yourself from your mind then your chanting will also become 
then it will be easy for you to chant also at the level of the soul because you will be able to separate you, the I, the soul from the mind. Right? Imagine what a great power it is if you are separated from your mind. I say this is my shawl. That means the shawl is different, I am different. Similarly, this is my mind. That means mind is different, I am different. But we don't understand we are different because the mind and we are merged. Hmm? So how do we separate the mind from our soul? It is a practice called awareness. When you become aware, when you become present, when you live in the now, your mind and you become separate. Example, This is a hall. Are you aware of this hall? No? What do you mean aware? What can you observe in this hall? Hmm? The hall you are observing, how to do chanting? I don't understand what you are saying. I am asking a simple question. What, do you, what is your awareness of this hall? The DTs are there. So you are aware of the DTs. What else are you aware of in this room? Devotees. Devotees. What else? What can you observe? The dimensions of the hall, the window, the ceiling. You can observe. Huh? Positivity. So you are, I'm see, now you are saying positivity. You are observing positivity. This is a, this is a judgment. So there is a difference between observation and judgment. I am asking you right now. You see this video camera? How is this video camera observing this hall? Is, is the video camera observing? Is the video camera going to say this hall is very hot? Is the video camera going to say there is a lot of positive energy here? What will the video camera say? There is, uh, it will only say there is seminar, there is uh, uh, 10 men, say, seven, 6, 7 women sitting. There is a brownish color curtains, there is windows, there is carpets, there is microphone. Video camera doesn't judge. So, I am asking you to observe this hall as a video camera observes, without judgment. If you tell me, Prabhuji, oh, this hall is very hot, that means it is observation or judgment? Judgment. How many of you, you know, in, like if I say, uh, Virat Kohli is the greatest cricket batsman. That statement is observation or judgment? judgment. If I say, Virat Kohli has scored 47 centuries, that is observation. You understood? So can you separate judgment from observation? So now, what do you observe in this hall? Fast. Furniture. You observe furniture means what? Say specifically something. You observe two chairs. You observe one chair next to me. You see a garland on my left side, right? You see books. You see gift. You see not gifts also is vague. <laughs> you see some clothes. You see beads, right? You see there is a half curtain put for the altar. So if you keep your eyes and ears open, you will learn to observe without judgment. This is the first step of being aware, mindful. We say, no, have you heard this? Be present, mindful. Many people talk about being mindful, being present, that is the secret of happiness. A lot of lectures are there. But they don't teach you how to be mindful. The first step of mindful is, first, observe without judging. Like a video camera observes. Now, today we are not discussing about mindfulness or uh, observation. We are talking about chanting, right? So now, this awareness that you have for this hall, now take the video camera inside your mind. Camera, there are two worlds, the world outside of us and there is a world inside of you. You agree with that? There is a big world inside. So now take the video camera inside. What do you observe? 
sensations in the body the mind is saying many things so but as you try to observe the mind will say so much that you can't understand you can't catch the mind only therefore we will learn by using journaling technique how to observe the mind like a video camera observes once you become expert in that then we will use that technique while chanting and separate the mind from the soul so this is called now journaling or now chanting so we are going to switch on the video camera and you are going to write when i not now when i say start okay when i say start you will start writing and you will write whatever you will write as if the video camera is observing the world inside of you getting it i'll explain here carefully now i'll explain how to do it but please understand the technique so you will write something like this if i have to write now i will write like this my mind so first of all i'll separate myself from my mind my mind is saying get up and go to the washroom now i will not actually get up and go i will just then full stop now my mind is saying i hope you know you are not fed dinner today because i have no hunger full stop now my mind is saying i think you should eat soup now my mind is saying i wish i get some parathas now my mind is saying you should fast for next 24 hours what are the mind is saying <laughs> have you observed this mind says contradictory things so now my mind is saying that your chanting is useless now my mind is saying you should chant more now my mind is saying this seminar is useless whatever the mind is saying you write it in third person instead of saying i am feeling hungry i want to go to washroom see all that you are feeling is all mind only talking so we are going to do simple exercise of separating yourself from your mind you are getting it this is called now writing like you know i given a name to my mind i given two names sometimes when my mind is not so bad behavior small trouble i call them i give them a fem- feminine name <laughs> it love sound sweet chanchal so i say today chanchal is very tired i give the name uh, for my mind chanchal today chan so you know it's like as if i have a companion i have a spouse <laughs> i am brahmachari i don't i am not married but i am married to my wife's name is chanchal <laughs> but chanchal sounds very sweet so i don't give that sweet name so sometimes mind is very harassing a lot so i sometimes i call my mind as golum golum g o l l u m so when we were in school when we were in school we had the j r tolkien's books hobbit and uh, lord of the rings so there was a character called golum in that uh, both the books he was a he was a it's a long story golum is serving his master frodo baggins but he's also trying to plotting to kill him he's a servant of his master but he's also trying to kill his master he is the biggest villain of this lord of the ring not the biggest villain is then anyway, there's a long story so i find my mind is golum mind is supposed to be my servant but my mind is constantly creating problems for me so i say now golum is very angry with these three devotees for not recognizing your service now golum says you should write an email now golum says stop your japa and go and write an email now whatever whatever the mind is whatever the mind is saying just observe like a video camera don't judge if you write you know my mind is so bad my mind just never cooperates my mind is so bad evil my mind is troubling me so much you sometimes feel like that <laughs> and if you write that <clears throat> you have been tricked by the mind it's not you who is feeling don't think you are so advanced that you can see that oh my mind is troubling me you are when you are saying that it's actually mind, your mind only saying your mind has come through the back door <laughs> mind friend door say mind when you when you stop the friend door and stop the mind from entering through the friend door the mind knows how to come from the altar door back door so mind is very tricky 
सो डोंट थिंक यू आर सो एडवांस दैट यू कैन फील लाइक भक्तिनाथ ठाकुर इज सेंग आमी तो कामेर दास आई एम फॉलन आई एम वर्म इन द स्टूल आई एम अ पिग नो दिस इज प्योर डिबूटी स्प्रेइंग एट द लेवल ऑफ सोल वी आर नॉट डिस्कसिंग दैट वी आर डिस्कसिंग चैंटिंग एट लेवल वन नाउ वेर वी हैव टू सेपरेट आर सेल्स फ्रॉम आर माइंड राइट नाउ इवन वेन यू कंडेम यूर सेल्फ इट इज यूर माइंड ओनली टॉकिंग सो माइंड इज वेरी नेस्टी वी डू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट आई एम सेंग सेपरेटिंग यूर सेल्फ फ्रॉम यूर माइंड इन फैक्ट इन वन वर्कशॉप you know one of the girls so i said you can give a name to your mind so after the workshop one girl you know maybe 19 18 20 year old she said prabhu i given a good name for my mind i said what name she know what name she gave for her mind because i told them i given the name chanchal i given the name golum she said i have given the name dushasan for my mind <laughs> because the mind is harassing me you know making me do so many things which i don't mind is forcing me to do so many things which i don't know i'm helpless in the face of my mind so i like that the idea is you don't you cannot have to all of that just basically the idea is you separate yourself from your mind you don't have to be so creative you can just say mind is saying this mind is saying that whatever the mind is saying at that moment and you know what will happen when you write by the time you complete the sentence you will realize that within that 7 second or 8 second that you wrote one sentence your mind has gone to 10 topics whatever the last topic whatever the last thing the mind has said you write that and by the time you complete that sentence you will see the mind has gone to 25 other topics so keep writing keep writing and when i say stop you know what will happen after this 3 minutes of writing can you imagine what will happen to you you will feel wow you will feel as if you know like i am sitting here is there anybody sitting on this chair no but when you write like this for 5 minutes after end of that you will see oh, your mind is sitting next to you you will see you are different from your mind are you at least able to see the logic and merit in what i am saying can you do this exercise is it confusing any doubts any questions can you do it so what will you write how will you write as a third person just like you know somebody else is with you and somebody else is talking constantly just observe that person talking like a video camera don't judge now my mind don't say now my mind is uncooperative <laughs> don't say now my mind is abusing me abuse is a judgment non cooperation of judgment you just write what the mind is saying all of you understood it right can you write it for 3 to 5 minutes who is telling you to chant did i say a word did i tell you to chant चैंटिंग को क्यों ला रहे हो बीच में हरे कृष्ण कैन यू राइट यू कैन डू बोथ इज इट चैंटिंग एंड राइटिंग वाओ आई डिट नो ओके यू स्टार्ट योर टाइम स्टार्ट नाउ very important don't stop the pen if you go blank write you are going mind is going blank mind is refusing to write mind is refusing to speak don't stop writing the moment you stop writing you have lost the game don't stop just keep writing even if you go blank write prabhu ji mind is saying prabhu ji has given a very stupid exercise mind doesn't mind is refusing to say anything <clears throat> you can't stop the pen don't stop typing okay done so congratulations what you have done is you have switched on the video camera and the last 5 minutes what you did <coughs> you observed your mind i think this is for many of you first time you did it first time you must have switched on the video camera and seen the world inside of you right imagine you are able to do this for 2 3 minutes every day what will happen one day one day you will see that you are walking you will always notice that there is mind on your left side you will always see yourself as separate from your mind so now we are going to do chanting 
with this understanding how I am not the mind. And then we will chant in such a way that when we are chanting generally, what we are doing, we are, we are, we are sitting like this and chanting Hare Krishna, right? Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna. But when we are saying Hare Krishna Ram, when we are listening to the sound, whom are we listening to? The sound Hare Krishna and Ram, this sound is who? Krishna. So when we are listening to the holy name, we are supposed to be listening to Krishna. But when we are chanting, we are generally listening to mind. So when we are chanting, please understand, you are sitting like this, there are two people next to you. On your left side is your mind. Ten foot tall. Big demon with horns coming out. And he's constantly talking. <laughs> and you are doing what? You are chanting like this? No. You are externally appearing to everybody who are sitting like this and chanting. But internally what you are doing? You are nodding your head and listening to <laughs> what this demon is saying. And you are Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And he's constantly shouting. Yes, yes, yes. But you're not realizing that as you're chanting, on your right side, there is somebody else. Who is there on your right side? Krishna. And Krishna is speaking very softly. And we are supposed to be while chanting. Externally, we are sitting like this, but internally, we are supposed to be listening to Krishna. Who has come as Hare, Krishna and Ram. But we are not able to listen to Krishna. Why? Our neck is... <clears throat> so chanting is all about how to get the neck, move the neck from here to here. <laughs> that is all chanting about. But we are not able to look at Krishna. We are not able to listen to the Krishna because our mind only we are listening. For the first step <clears throat> is to become aware that the mind is separate from me. And second is slowly start listening to the holy names. So now when you are going to chant, again now you are going to chant for five minutes. I am going to say stop, till that time you will start chanting. And again I will I'll explain how to chant. Only when I say start, you will start chanting. Those of you who don't have beats, Prabhuji will give. <coughs> Please uh, listen to me as I explain. So when you are chanting, so externally we will all chant like this. You, at your own pace, in your own way you will chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Ram Hare. Right? Don't chant now, I will explain, then you chant. Okay? So when you chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Ram Hare Hare. This is externally. Internally what is happening? The mind is talking and we are helpless. We can't fight the mind. And we are supposed to be not listening to the mind but listening to Krishna. But if you keep fighting, no, no, I want to listen to the Krishna, I want to listen to the holy name, you will get tired after two minutes of chanting. That is why devotees after chanting 16 rounds for so many years, they are always tired. <laughs> because whole chanting is fighting. <laughs> so, People, we lectures we say meditation will make you energized, fresh. But devotees come and secretly tell Prabhu, after chanting, I feel exhausted. Chanting is supposed to refresh in me because you are not chanting, you are not listening to Krishna, you are fighting with the mind. So what we will do? Just take like while writing what you are doing, you are aware. You didn't judge your. Did you say? Did, did anybody write my mind is rascal? No, you just said my mind is saying this. My mind. So now when you are going to chant for the next five minutes, you are not going to judge your mind. Any thought, emo, emotion comes. See, emotions are needed. We'll discuss later in the next second type of chanting. Right now, any emotion comes, recognize that as a mind only talking. And gently become aware and come back to listening to Krishna. Gently. I'll repeat this hundred times. Gently matlab. See, if you have dumbbells, those who have gone to exercise, you have done. If you take dumbbells and if you do like this, what will happen? 
your, your muscles will go you know sprain similarly when you are dealing with the mind you can't just fight with the mind ah oh, you will go crazy mind will go crazy gently do dumbbells gently come back to krishna so when you are chanting it will happen like this hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare hare mind will say so you how many of you have experienced during chanting mind wandering oh thank you you are all normal people congratulations <laughs> if you say my mind doesn't wander then you will have to see some psychiatrist <laughs> or you are pure devotee of krishna generally mind wandering means congratulation normal so don't have to take tension it's okay in fact i have a whole seminar on how mind wandering is good <laughs> that's another topic mind sometimes mind wandering helps you well, i'm a writer mind wandering helps in creativity but not while chanting <laughs> <laughs> there's a different time for mind wandering like when you go for a walk mind should wander creativity but while chanting mind is not supposed to wander hmm? so <clears throat> now i'm taking some time to explain the technique for that so that you get it right just like all of you wrote nicely you know now in chanting also you can do very nicely so mind will talk and in this 5 minutes it may happen that for almost 1 minute your mind was going everywhere and then suddenly you remember the mind had wandered and what are you supposed to do while chanting what is the what is the goal i gave you listen to the three words hare krishna and ram and you will realize you didn't listen and when you realize you didn't listen then you will feel oh it is so bad i can't chant that is not you saying that is mind only will take you everywhere and then the mind only will say see i you can't chant <laughs> means so don't get too excited when you realize after 2 minutes are in this two last 2 minutes my mind was wandering no it's a mind talking you become aware and then gently come back to listen to the holy name this is called awareness just recognizing that the mind is saying all these things and eventually you'll come to a stage where you'll be able to separate yourself from your mind when i will how many times you have stood in front of the deities and prayed and then when you came out of the hall if you are asked you were standing 5 minutes in front of deities and you were praying what are the color of the dress of the deities and suddenly you don't know i said why <laughs> why because you were not present one day i was praying like this in front of deities in chopati this is a real story hmm? this is recently so one devotee was observing i didn't know he is looking at me he is thinking prabhu ji is praying so intensely so for 15 minutes i was standing in front of deities like this you know how i was praying now externally it was like this so everybody is thinking prabhu ji is praying but internally you know what is happening internally the soul the i is supposed to tell krishna i love you whatever emotions it's all about soul and krishna but that souls offering was not happening because the mind was talking so how, how the how the prayer session began in the inner world i'm not talking about externally everything is normal internally what was happening it began with the sincere prayer very sincere prayer of the soul krishna please please help mayank prabhu he is going through a divorce he is a very nice devotee please help him his wife is also such a nice person please help them resolve their conflict krishna please they are such a nice couple this is how for the first 10 15 seconds this is the way it is going krishna please help them and then my soul is offering this prayer and suddenly that soul's connection with krishna got lost because the mind took over and the prayer began something like this oh my and his wife will divorce his wife looks exactly like that chetan you know in london chetan's wife she is also looks exactly like him and they also went through divorce i think both their divorce is happening because of their wives only and these women are like that only both of them and you know this chetan's wife she looks exactly like your babi who died in that bike crash in 1992 just see what's happening where is the mind gone it takes me 9 hours to take a flight from mumbai to london but mind went to london how fast 
वन सेकेंड वो मयंग से चेतन का वाइफ लंदन में है इन वन सेकेंड रुक एंड फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री इट वेंट टू नाइनटीन नाइनटी टू माइंड इज सच अ पावरफुल स्पीड रिमेंबर यूर बाबी डाइड इन दैट बाइक एक्सीडेंट शी लुक एक्जैक्टली लाइक चेतन वाइफ एंड दिस बाइक यू नो द बी एस टी बिग बस केम एंड हिट द बाइक एंड शी वॉज वेरिंग हेलमेट स्टिल शी डाइड ऑन द स्पॉट एंड अर सिक्स इयर ओल्ड सन वॉज होल्डिंग अर एंड इट एनी हेलमेट एंड नथिंग हैपन टू हिम एक्चुअली दिस बी एस टी बस ड्राइवर्स आर वेरी बैड दे डोंट नो हाउ टू ड्राइव एंड रिमेंबर दैट वेन यू आर इन कॉलेज दैट बस केम एंड हिट दैट ऑटो रिक्शा वाला नी ऑल्सो डेट ऑन द स्पॉट आउट साइड दैट हाई कोर्ट रिमेंबर एंड रिमेंबर दैट हाई कोर्ट वन डे यू सॉ वन मैन रनिंग विद द ड्रैगर सोक्ट इन ब्लड and after that you went with your friends to watch a movie in that movie the hero was also running with the dragger soaked in blood that movie was very nice that movie won many national awards and those four friends with whom we watched the movie they are now settled in different parts of the world and one of them is in london oh london mein chetan bhi hai chetan ka divorce ho gaya mayank so i came back to mayank after going through <coughs> the whole world pura journey okay and then suddenly i realized where was i <sighs> Okay, Krishna. I'm coming back to Mayank. Please help. So again, I have to come back to be present. So in that 15 minutes of standing in front of deities, maybe I actually prayed for total 40 seconds or 50 seconds. But it was worth it because I was gently coming back to the present, <clears throat> and I'm able to speak all of this to you because of awareness. Because I could see the success is not that you are able to. <laughs> always be present its success is not that your soul is connected to krishna the success at our stage at the first round is to be become aware that the mind is wandering that is our biggest success right now did you understand what i am saying can you do this exercise what will you do okay what will you do now when i say start okay one by one what will you do Five minutes. You will do japa. What will you do during japa? Five minutes japa. Sh raise your hand if you want to say yes. You will try to listen to Krishna, Hare, and Ram, and then what will happen when you are? Then what else you will do? Not just the mind. Means what? What you will do? <laughs> Gently pull the mind back if you realize that the mind is wandering. Become aware and come back. So while chanting. who is sitting next to you krishna and mind and we are listening to the mind so when you become, when you realize that your mind is talking you become aware come back to the present and turn to krishna your head is default setting going on the left side you know in chetna jatamrut there is a story of that gopinath patnaik selling that horses to king's son who had a idiosyncrasy His neck would always keep going like this, so that Gopinath Patnaik made fun of the king's son. The king's son said, "You are charging too much for the horses." So he said sarcastically, "At least my horses don't keep moving the neck like this." But the king's son got very angry and he sent him to Changa, sent him, sentenced death punishment to him. So he had this idiosyncrasy. Neck was going always like this. So we may think it is a very uh, embarrassing habit or bodily. uh what to say bodily handicap we may think like that but all of us have that handicap in the inner world we are mentally little handicapped our the self is constantly going where chitta is going where <laughs> to the mind listening to the mind so now we are being trained to oh sidha rakho theek hai can you do this so when i say start you are going to <coughs> You you'll do like this. See, just observe me now. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Externally normal chal raha hai, but internally gently keep coming back to the present moment. This is called now japa. Okay, can we start? The time starts now. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna 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 Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare 
हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर डूइंग दिस एक्सरसाइज so could you see uh, could you come back to the present moment no yeah so when you were when, see your mind wandering is not a disqualification when you realize that your mind is wandering what do you do there must have been moments when you realized your mind was wandering what did you do at that time you came back right you came back that means you are doing the exercise properly if you don't come back that means you have still have the bad habit of of listening to the mind mind is constantly talking you are listening but when you realize the mind is talking that is the moment of awareness and that's when you make the choice of turning away from the mind is this clear if you have done it properly and if you do it every day then you will be able to chant at this first level of awareness level of coming rising above the mind world to the level of the soul this is level 1 chanting which we wanted to discuss level 2 is what <clears throat> chanting where the soul is connected with krishna and that is the chanting of emotions where the soul propa says chanting is the crying of the child for the mother right you heard this so now how to do that if you are practicing the first level of chanting if you are practicing the first level of chanting every day then search for emotions in your chanting which means you know you may be in anxiety about your child's health you may be in having insecurity about your finances you may be feeling deep gratitude for the gifts that you have got from krishna so search for an emotion and enter the world of emotions connect to krishna through emotions but if you are not practicing level 1 chanting and if you search for emotions during chanting what will happen what will happen mind what don't give me one word mind what do you mean what are you saying ha huh? mind will take over you will start listening to the mind it will not be your genuine emotions for krishna so the level to chanting is based on emotions it's all it's a child crying for the mother so shila propad gave us two levels of chanting level 1 chanting propad said here 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 then the mind will become clear 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 <laughs> mind will become clear of all the kachra you have to listen to the holy name and Prop- same propad also said chanting is helpless crying of the child for the mother so we need to do both levels of chanting now if you say prabhu ji but it will take me many days to come to level 1 chanting perfection then if i start level 2 no even now as you are chanting as you are trying to listen to the holy name as you are trying to come back to the sound of the holy name sometimes you may get so tired by that effort and you may see how helpless you are that's when you can offer an emotion krishna help me chant and that emotion is from the level of the soul see this what we are discussing right now is very very theory because it is people who are controlled by the mind talking about the soul relationship with krishna it is it is completely theoretical therefore we need to practice we need to practice chanting offering emotions for krishna so wherever you are at this level you may be attached to your house your children your job wherever you are you can offer emotions to krishna but not skipping the first level if you do this level 1 chanting and then offer emotions to krishna then you will see there is chanting at the level of the relationship of soul and krishna now while chanting uh, every day if you are able to become more aware and separate yourself from your mind you are situated on the level of the soul then emotions will spontaneously also come there are shila propa statement that propa says don't worry about thinking of vrindavan 
don't worry of remembering or imagining Krishna. Everything will happen. You have heard this? Prabhupada say it will happen automatically. What he means is, when you are at the level of the soul, the soul, when the soul touches the holy name, there is an emotional explosion. That's why there are some people, I know some people who come first time to Hare Krishna, is gone. First time they heard Kirtan, tears started coming in their eyes. Have you heard of examples of people who came first time to temple? They found, you know, automatically they felt love. That is because the soul had found shelter. All the barriers and layers had been penetrated and the soul had accessed Krishna. But again, because we are complicated, our mind is has such a dominance over our existence, we are unable, our soul is unable to access the purity of Krishna. Therefore, we are doing these exercises of separating ourselves from our mind. But if you are constantly trying like this, Krishna being pleased will remove all the clutter and suddenly your soul, the I, will touch Krishna's holy name. And when the soul touches the holy name, beautiful emotions of a child finding the parent, all that will happen. But prematurely, we cannot jump into that. Let us begin by focusing on listening to the holy name and becoming more aware of the mind. Krishna is in second floor. We are in ground floor. We have to go to second floor. But the journey is, we have to go to first floor first. We have to climb the stairs and go to first floor. From first floor, there is no stairs. There is no elevator. There is nothing. From first floor to second floor, you can't go. Krishna is in second floor. Krishna will lift you from the first floor. But you can't say, I am in ground floor, Krishna lift me. <laughs> Krishna will say, no, you have to come to first floor. You have to come to first floor. Then Krishna will lift you. So what, why I am giving this analogy? Ground floor means our present level of chanting, which is Aparada Yukta Nam, offensive chanting. First floor means level 1 chanting, which we discussed. Listening to the holy name, also trying to put some emotions. That's level 1 chanting. Then, Krishna, if he is pleased, he will lift us to level 2 chanting, where the soul, the spontaneous emotional exchange of the soul with the God will happen. The taste, level 2 is, second floor is taste. Level 1 is enthusiasm. And level 0 is apathy or indifference. So from indifference, we have to come to enthusiasm. And then we are living in that stage, then Krishna will lift us one day and give us taste. That is why you will find Srila Prabhupada giving comments on chanting. Many times he says, what is there? What is the question of mind? Just listen to the holy name. Same Prabhupada also said, the holy name is crying of the child for the mother. Both statements Prabhupada. <clears throat> but this is the way we resolve our uh, confusions about chanting and we access Krishna's pure holy names. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. I will pause here. <coughs> Any comments or questions for some time we can take. Yes Prabhu, then you and then Narari Prabhu. Yes. <coughs> I will repeat your question, you speak. is asking, is there a way you can distinguish between the voice of the mind and voice of the soul and voice of the super soul? Okay. So there is I. The I's emotional expression to Krishna is beyond Vaikari, beyond the level of sound, what we, we are talking. It's level, beyond the level of mind, intelligence and ego. It's no point talking that. We can only understand two things the voice of the mind, that awareness we can have. And sometimes we hear Krishna's voice. These two voices we can identify. How do we know? Sometimes, <laughs> some devotees have confusion. How do I know it is Krishna speaking to me? It could be mind also, no? Like Hitler, Hitler's uh, right-hand man was uh, 
हिमलर हेनरिक हिमलर ही इज अवन हू एक्चुअली एक्सटर्मिनेटेड सिक्स मिलियन ज्यूस ही वॉज द ब्रेन बिहाइंड द होल कास्ट एंड यूज टू कैरी भगवत गीता विद एम एवरी डे एंड ही सेट आई एम माय हिटलर इज माय मास्टर इज कृष्णा एंड आई एम अर्जुना सो माइंड सो नैस्टी माइंड कैन टेल यू माइंड कैन कम लाइक दिस सो यू मे थिंक वॉट इज द वॉइस ऑफ कृष्णा वॉट इज द वॉइस ऑफ माइंड so therefore there are some important rules to follow <clears throat> first the culture of hearing what you are doing now is hearing if you are hearing scriptures that means you are accessing an intelligence beyond your own if you have a culture of hearing scriptures that means you are first of all rightly situated otherwise we are only hearing our mind so that is first step you are done tick if this culture is on where you have a habit you have a culture of studying scriptures means basically accessing an intelligence higher than your own then you can begin to understand the difference between the two voices mind and the krishna mind's voice will be generally loud fast and attached when you are chanting the mind will say get up check the whatsapp now now it's important you see it is loud fast and urgent attached attached krishna's voice is soft slow and detached so you will hear a soft voice saying don't go anywhere just chant hari krishna time will freeze nothing to worry just be with me but the mind will say no no now now you have to check whatsapp then krishna will withdraw <laughs> krishna will go away krishna will not krishna is not going to ah pounce on you krishna is a silent lover he is just waiting for you to turn to him this comes with practice so but if you keep thinking what is my mind what is my soul's voice krishna's voice mind if you keep thinking like that that is your mind only talking it's a mind tricking you this is called paralysis by analysis sometimes we think we are having philosophical questions and we get into so much analysis that analysis is paralysis by analysis there was a centipede centipede has what 40 legs 50 many legs the centipede of dancing very nicely beautifully the frog came and told the centipede you dance so well but when you are dancing your 34th leg comes before the 42nd leg so how do you manage that after that question the frog asked that was the end of centipede's good dancing why he became conscious ye pehla jata hai analysis causes paralysis so sometimes we think too much you have to be careful You have to let go. That's a struggle. Is not a permanent stage. I didn't speak today. We didn't have time. Struggle in chanting. Eventually, you have to give up that struggle and enter the zone of surrender. You have to let go the struggle and allow Krishna to take charge of the chariot. First, the mind is running the chariot everywhere, and we are helpless. Then we take the bead bag and we take charge of the chariot. And then after some time, we realize this is very difficult. and then we give up but not like the first time we gave up where the mind was running now we give up and tell krishna take charge that surrender is there so that is the next level of chanting but the idea is don't have paralysis by analysis don't think too much about it just listen to the holy name and move on everything will be revealed at the right time whatever we are whatever we need to know at our level of advancement to come closer to krishna will be revealed to us through chanting pure devotees for them it is revealed bhakti vinod thakur chanting it was revealed to him oh mahaprabhu birth place is here <laughs> that was revealed to him while chanting <laughs> for us while chanting you know it will be revealed just sit here and chant complete your rounds <laughs> don't have to run here and there like that so at whatever level we are in krishna will speak to us and will guide us but don't allow your mind to cheat you by too much analysis see if you do only shravanam you will say okay now prabhu ji has told so henceforth i will not do any all this thinking i will just do shravanam i will hear class i will hear chanting 
shravanam without introspection and thinking without mananam that will only become a ritual and it will be only entertainment and mananam without shravanam will lead to speculation both are needed so therefore what you are doing is very healthy listen to the class study scriptures and then also think so thinking is important but you should also know you should you should be able to think so logically and you should also know what not to think <laughs> you know some things are logical some things are illogical some things are trans logical they are beyond logic so mind is extremely crafty extremely crafty mind knows how to come through the back door so we need to let go and surrender rather than struggle and trying to figure out everything is that okay yes hari krishna yes bro so uh, the analogy that you gave uh, of going to the first floor and then krishna pulling so uh, let's say you have got that taste and you somehow lost it because of all the mukmaya or whatever then how do you bring that back because your mind is now chasing that taste which you got so how to go to actually that? whole bhakti is that only if you see most devotees who are continuing for many years in bhakti at some point of time in the initial days they got a glimpse of pure chanting or pure experience and then suddenly it was lost so rest of their life they are searching for it they are in the first floor crying krishna why did you take me to second floor and throw me back <laughs> but that is good for them in the first canto Sixth and seventh chapter, Narada is a small boy. He was practicing spiritual life. His mother died. It's a long story. Then one day he was chanting, and he had left home. He kada nirgatam geha dhun tim nishigam pati. So he left home. He was chanting, praying, and suddenly Krishna appeared. He got that vision, and he was ecstatic. His hair suddenly ran, tears started coming from the eyes. <sighs> and then krishna disappeared and then even oh, what happened why did that why did that vision disappear i want it and then again he tried sat in the pose are krishna again he tried hard and he kept trying he tried different different things but that thing did not come then he was crying intensely and then finally he heard a voice akashvani through narada lord is telling all of us that voice told narada little boy in this lifetime you will never get that again what you got you will keep keep hankering for it keep hankering for it and the right time everything will be revealed to you keep hankering for it so krishna what he will do when you keep hankering for that lost taste krishna being pleased suddenly one day he will give you but if he gives it easily then we will not value it aap samjhe so i'll tell you my own experience when i was very new brahmacharya i just joined the temple one day we were doing you know the morning mangal aarti we do tulsi pradakshina so while doing pradakshina after offering water all of us are chanting ya nikani cha pa pa suddenly something happened to me my body the sense of uh sense of being in this body disappeared a tear started coming from my eyes and i felt a sense of love and belonging and shelter which i have never experienced before and after and time froze and it, i don't know how, how many seconds it lasted but it got over when it got over what was that what was that? i want that i want that next day i came for tulsi aarti before only was ready didn't come now 24 years have passed 25 actually 25 years have passed even now when i take part in tulsi aarti 
ఐ రిమెంబర్ దాట్ కృష్ణ తులసి మారాణి హెల్ప్ మీ లెట్ మీ లెట్ గివ్ మీ దాట్ అగైన్ బట్ ఐఎమ్ కమింగ్ ఎవ్రీ డే యు సి సో అవర్ పూర్ణచంద్ర మహారాజ్ సింగ్ దట్ వెన్ ఈ జాయింట్ ద ఇస్కాన్ ఈ వాజ్ అ యంగ్ బ్రహ్మచారి కేమ్ ఫ్రమ్ రష్యా అమెరికా అండ్ ఈ కేమ్ అండ్ అమెరికా ఆల్ డివోటి సైడ్ వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు మాయాపూర్ ధామ్ విచ్ ఈజ్ ఇన్ ఫోర్ అవర్స్ ఫ్రమ్ కోల్కత్తా దిస్ ఈజ్ వీ కేమ్ టు మాయాపూర్ అండ్ దెన్ దే అరేంజ్ ద బస్ టు గో టు డిఫరెంట్ హోలీ ప్లేసెస్ ఈ సైడ్ ఐ సాట్ ఇన్ ద బస్ అండ్ ద బస్ ఇస్ అబౌట్ టు స్టార్ట్ అండ్ సడన్లీ ఐ ఫెల్ లార్డ్ చైతన్యాస్ మర్సీ ఎంటర్ మై హార్ట్ ఐ స్టార్టెడ్ క్రాయింగ్ టీయర్స్ ఆర్ కమింగ్ ఐ వాజ్ సైలెంట్ బట్ టీయర్స్ ఆర్ గషింగ్ ఐ ఫెల్ లార్డ్ చైతన్య ఇస్ ఎంబ్రేజింగ్ మీ ఐ ఫెల్ పంచతత్వ ఐ గివన్ మీ షెల్టర్ అండ్ ఆఫ్టర్ అ ఫ్యూ సెకండ్ ఇట్ ఆల్ డిసప్పియర్డ్ అండ్ దెన్ మహారాజ్ ఆర్ సేయింగ్ ఈవెన్ నావ్ ఎవ్రీ ఇయర్ ఐ గో టు మాయాపూర్ ఐఎమ్ హ్యాంకరింగ్ ఫర్ దాట్ ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్ బట్ ఐఎమ్ నాట్ గెటింగ్ ఇట్ బట్ ఐ నో అకార్డింగ్ టు స్క్రిప్చర్స్ దట్ దిస్ ఇస్ అ లార్డ్ లార్డ్ గివ్ మీ అ ఫ్రీ శాంపుల్ సో దట్ ఐ కీప్ కమింగ్ బ్యాక్ and that gives me faith that gives me taste to continue during troubled times because otherwise we'll value not value it we'll take it cheaply so like that so this is a arrangement of the lord that he gives you a taste and then you lose that taste but when we lose that taste we are supposed to be in level 1 not go to level 0 saying that abey wo taste chala gaya if you go to level 0 then you'll not get level 1 mein raho hamesha sometimes krishna will lift you and he'll put you down i remember so many see last 25 years my mind has troubled me i've gone through a lot of struggle and i don't want to discuss all of that but there have been at least a few occasions when i felt really sheltered in bhakti and my faith increased so much but they were few and far in between but they were enough to give me faith matlab it is basically you are in first floor krishna lifted you to second floor and ek jhalak dikha diya wapas ja wapas ja wapas ke first floor are krishna and then again krishna will lift us put us down because the whole life we have to be in that enthusiasm we have to show enthusiasm okay yes prabhu you had a question also no yes goranga sandra krishna prabhu thank you amazing explanation uh, and touching very deep topic so if those experiences are not coming back is it because i am doing something wrong in my sadhana and my devotion yeah if i minus my mistakes the experiences can be continuous apra yeah, yeah. we have to we have to understand we have committed offenses become humble about it <coughs> thank you but sometimes devotee go other extreme i am so offensive they think so much about the aparad kaun sa aparad kiya kisko aparad kiya wo ek alag hota hai alag wo paralysis by analysis hota like as one day would you come to me prabhu ji you know that class you gave i was speaking about so many important things it was for me only so i think you know that i am doing these offenses we become very self conscious in the name of uh we become very self conscious in the name of being humble i'm fallen i'm doing aparad so there are offenses we have to be careful of those offenses not obsessive of those offenses when you are driving on a highway you know ghat ghat section not highway you know there's mountain region you will see there are many boards put up dangerous curve ahead then again there will be dangerous curve at or another drive slow speed breaker ahead you know all those things when you read that uh, warning what do you do do you stop the car and say oh there is a dangerous curve ahead i cannot go what will happen you don't do that right or do you ignore it and drive fast that is other extreme what you do you see that and you drive carefully do you see what i'm saying you see the notice and drive carefully right you don't ignore it and you don't what are the two extremes we go when we see these notices stop driving there is one extreme other extreme reckless driving maturity is to see those warnings and drive cautiously similarly offenses when we read about the offenses sometimes we get oh offenses oh then we don't chant only and sometimes hey, these offenses are all 
you know, they just, <laughs> just forget it and just, that is reckless driving. Maturity means, oh, there are ten offenses, I have to be careful, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Let me continue, let me continue driving, let me continue going forward. So that's how devotees can happily practice bhakti. Although we are committing offenses, see, we can't avoid offenses. But the ten offenses to holy name, it says, what is that last offense we read? Tenth offense. It's also an offense to, no, what is the tenth offense? To maintain material attachments. It doesn't say to have material attachments. Having material attachments is not a disqualification. Maintaining means we are not trying to clean the heart. We are not trying to progress. Because you can't avoid having attachments. But if you maintain it, if you say, chalega, abhi hai, to hai, that is problem. We have to constantly keep for going forward. Means not maintaining the attachments. Cleaning the heart. Because after you clean the heart, again kachara will come. Sometimes people say, Prabhu, once if you chant Hare Krishna, it's enough, no? So I chanted so many years, I'm chanting. And few times chanting was very good. Why I have to chant again? Because you're alive. And if you are alive, even if you chanted purely and all the kachra was gone, because you are alive, kachra has come again. Have you seen copper vessel? If you clean the copper vessel with that kasturi and lemon and uh, tamarind, it sparkles. Keep it on the desk, on the table. Don't do anything. After two days, what will happen? Again, you have to clean. You will say, I didn't do anything, but it was alive, it was there. This temple hall, our Chapati temple hall, morning, four o'clock, we do cleaning. So much kachara we get. And after cleaning the temple hall, cleaning over, and 9.30, after five hours, we again do jadu, so much kachara. And evening, four o'clock, we clean again, so much kachara. If you clean the temple hall perfectly, but just because this temple hall is there in this material world, after some time, kachara will come. So you have cleaned your heart by chanting the holy name, but because you are alive, <laughs> you are in this body, material contamination will come. That's why we are, it's an offense to maintain material attachments. We have to keep cleaning. That means we have to keep going forward, not getting obsessed and fearful of offenses or not neglecting those uh, instructions. Just aage badte raho, chalte raho. Okay? Thank you, Pro. Hare Krishna, Prabhuji. Thank you for the wonderful class. Uh, the three things which I do to bring back my mind or attention is, uh, I remember the words in Bhagavad Gita where it says, sense objects are above, senses above sense objects. A mind is above senses and intelligence is above. Correct. Yeah, that that helps me. Yeah. And the second thing is, like you said, I relate with the emotion. Uh, third thing is, if both first and second is not working, then I read uh, Krishna book or Bhagavad Gita. Beautiful. Along with the chanting. Is that okay? Beautiful. Thank you for sharing. I'll also try this. If I understand correctly, there are three tools you have to bring back the mind to chanting. First is to remember the verse, Indriyani para nayur, Indriyabhya param manha, manasastu para buddhir. Parasastu para buddhir, manasastu para buddhir. Okay, that verse which says, higher than the senses is the mind, mind higher than mind is intelligence, higher than intelligence is the soul. That, that is one way. Second, you remember how you try to add emotions into your chanting, mm -hmm. that is helping you to bring back. And if both fail, then you try to read Krishna book or remember Krishna's past. Beautiful. Uh, yes. In Gita, it is also said that one, uh, one must uh, deliver himself with the help of mind. And yeah. So with the help of mind means we cannot uh, reject the mind, right? Oh, yeah, we can't reject the mind. <laughs> you need the mind. <laughs> Without the mind, you can't. That's why I said, no, I don't say mind is Golum always. I say Chanchal also. We need mind's cooperation. And in the Gita, <coughs> or Krishna says many places, the, mind, the word mana in the Gita sometimes refers to intelligence, sometimes refers to soul, sometimes refers to mind. So, mind we need. In fact, we are right now 
healthy not gone crazy because of the mind see when you are when you are in the train uh the train is going fast and you are standing at the not in america may doesn't happen in india you stand at the door and experience nice wind breeze so why don't you jump out of the train because your mind is protecting you mind is telling you not to jump mind protects us that's why we don't jump off the train mind protects us that's why you don't go and slap a stranger on the street you don't do anything wrong because the mind is protecting you but the same mind because it is protecting us so much it becomes over protective and it prevents us from growing it prevents us from taking up spiritual life it prevents us it keeps us in comfort zone doesn't want to take to spiritual life that aspect of the mind is also there <clears throat> so we are not rejecting the mind we are not we you know it's like it's like a spouse you have you can't divorce the spouse and you need the cooperation as long as you are in the material world the mind will be there because it's a part of the subtle body so we need the mind that's why it's not good to always give gali that's why i said observe without judging that crying of the soul you know for krishna allow me my mind that don't worry now that the soul will soul and uh, bhagwan ka union hai wo you don't have to worry about how to cry for krishna you worry about how to become aware of the mind so yeah thank you bro thank you yes bro you wanted to say something hari krishna bol dhan dhan not kona Prabhu ji, uh, I just want to uh, understand more about that verse in Gita ji, Bhagavad Gita ji, the uh, Lord says like, um, uh, Bhakt never perishes or something like that, Pranashyati or something. So, Namai Bhakta Pranashyati. Namai Bhakta Pranashyati. Uh, in the context of like, uh, the example you gave, someone is on first floor and God has left it. Yeah. Or something and then like, miss, what is the relationship? between these two like the lord once said said like um, once bhakt hears you from bhakt and never perishes correct he never so. perishes but he remains there only okay. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't perish doesn't mean he's advancing okay. you know so krishna says nama neya vikramana shasti 2.40 neya vikramana shasti pratyavayana vidyate sulpam apya dharmasya prayate mahato bhayat if you do even little bit you get benefit and then sixth chapter 40th verse krishna says parthane va namutra vinashat sasya vidade nahi kalyana krut karchi durgatim tatagachi if you do even little bit of good you will never be overcome by evil so if you have done little bit of good chanting you will get the benefit but because we are not advancing we are not sincere we remain there we, see that doesn't mean see we can't be like spoiled brats pampered child you know i chanted hari krishna now krishna you take me we can demand see the holy name as what is called as vastu shakti vastu shakti means the holy name is very powerful even if you don't know the science of holy name even if you don't know the meaning even if you are not praying properly the holy name will work like fire propa says if a child puts hand in the fire the hand will burn why because the fire has vastu shakti fire doesn't discriminate similarly holy name is extremely powerful holy name will help anyone who comes in contact with the holy name sanketyam parihasam va stobam helana meva va vaikunta nama grananan asheshaga haram vidu indirectly if you chant if you joke about holy name are hare krishna wala ja raha hai hare krishna you say hare krishna anyway you get benefit so vastu shakti is there but the same scriptures also say that if you invest emotions and if you are present and more mindful then you get more benefits of chanting getting it so in ayurveda also they say medicines ayurvedic medicines work but when you are mindful and you are you are present while taking the medicine it has more effect similarly holy name will have effect but when we are present when we are respectful it gives more more benefits and we want to be grown up children right when we are very small children you know we anything you do you are encouraged and when we are small children go to school 
they are you know their nails are checked shoe is polished or not it is checked hair how it is cut it is all <laughs> lot of small small things are but when you go to college people go what <laughs> how they go that is <laughs> there is a different uh, criteria when they become older right similarly when we are new in bhakti there is a different criteria as you get older we can't we can't have the same standard it is for new people holy name you know krishna is saying anything you do you are protected you just come to me but we can't keep holding on to that after 20 years of bhakti we are supposed to grow up hai na instructions for newcomer is different than instruction for an old older person otherwise then no need to practice only you know everybody comes once you hare krishna go by 16 round by all this system because the scriptures also say bahu janma kare yadi shravana kirtan tabu to na paaye pade krishna prema dan you can chant hare krishna for many many lifetimes still you will not get krishna aisa bhi likha hai so scriptures have two kind of instructions one for very new people one for people who have spent some time you should have the intelligence to understand ye mere liye nahi hai mere liye heavy wala statement hai naye aadmi ke liye encourage see our scriptures do two things they comfort the afflicted and they afflict the comforted so if you are if you are very depressed then you read this shloka ek bar chanting kiya benefit milega wow then you feel happy you are comforted the afflicted person is comforted but if you are very complacent comfortable you are not doing any sincere progress then these statements are presented so that you are afflicted and you become serious are you getting it the scriptures play this dual role otherwise we will become complacent no we will not work hard to come to krishna okay yes prabhu hare krishna prabhu ji thank you so much for the wonderful seminar prabhu um, one difficulty i have constantly had is to be able to sit and chant whenever i sit after one mala sometimes in the middle of it my mind says you can't sit get up move around and when i move around obviously i'm di- distracted like today evening i was sitting and chanting and i was walking i came to the kitchen and my mind said well you are in the kitchen only why don't you make some tea so i made tea for myself and then i asked my wife i made tea for them so you know these kind of things happen or, or i do go out and look at the you know plants and this thing the thing so when i move around obviously it's distraction is there so any tips on being able to sit in one place and chant probably otherwise it seems like a big struggle it's like constantly you can check your blood pressure sometimes because of low bp you fall sleepy while chanting or if you have eaten heavy dinner then morning you feel sleepy while chanting so it, it's not simply when chanting you don't we can't give you techniques for chanting only when chanting it is like a cricket batsman all of you know cricket right world cup is going on <laughs> so cricket batsman is on the pitch he has to score century no but lot of things before that also matter if you have taken heavy lunch at 2 o'clock and 3 o'clock he comes to bat <laughs> <laughs> or he has not done any net practice understand so similarly chanting now it's not only during chanting that chanting happens so what dinner have you taken if you eat rich dinner that's why many preachers will say many devotees they avoid dinner because they want to get up early in the morning they want to be fresh if the stomach is light in the morning then you can chant better so all the small small things sleeping early all those things help and having good rest at night so if the mind wanders a lot while walking then stay in one place but if the mind if you are staying in one place you feel sleepy then walk so balance both so i chant sometimes i close my eyes and chant to concentrate i fall sleepy then i open my eyes my mind wanders so when my mind wanders i close my eyes when i fall sleepy i open my eyes you understand so walk when you are feeling sleepy and when you are distracted sit down <laughs> and when again you are feeling sleepy walk get up see basically our scripture say yena kena prakare na manah krishna niveshaya some or other fix your mind on krishna whatever helps you do that do that but don't listen to the mind that may trick you watch tv and chant you can <laughs> that's why you can't that's why i'm saying it will not initially it may appear oh checking whatsapp message may drive away your sleep so let me check my whatsapp and chant that is the mind trick that's how the mind makes ullu banata hai humko 
so therefore when i say anakena prakarena it means within the circle of what our devotees are recommending we should not trust our mind so much at the same time we should do whatever it takes to keep ourselves awake and alert and ideally it is about it has to do with our diet sleep rest exercise sometimes doing little bit of pranayama or yoga before japa helps like i sometimes we will stretch our body and then we sit chanting happens good and also you know don't worry about listening to every mantra every ma mantra and every round and 16 rounds you know engine when the train moves when the engine goes all the dabbas also go so what i do is when i chant my when i begin my round first one minute i focus on listening i struggle to listen to the holy name and after that one minute i give up the struggle let the mind wander but the mind comes back to holy name <laughs> because you have struggled you have you have put your full effort in the first one minute the remaining 5 minutes mind cooperates even if the mind wanders it comes back but if you begin the round only let my mind wander then the mind will go <laughs> uncontrollably engine moves the dabbas flow so first first few mantras of the round are very important so struggle and giving up both are needed propa said bhagavatam says ghoda ko chala rahe ho control bhi karo it give up the give up the reins also you can't always control the horse you can't always let the horse go similarly chanting try to listen to the holy name hare krishna hare krishna and then after some time give up the struggle don't worry mind will not go everywhere mind will come back relax ho jayega so so both you have to do okay yes and last question will take of mother question may be small but answer will <laughs> answer will be big <laughs> chanting taylor can we read the bhagavatam because uh... reading bhagavatam is service very important service we should do and chanting is also very important service But doing both together i'm not sure you can do separately you can read bhagavatam later and you can chant later or together if you do no the mind will it's like okay if you are given maha prasad taking maha prasad of krishna is service right laddu laddu ma prasad diya that is important service right and doing aarti you see in aarti devotees do aarti in the temple but aarti doing is also service only you know but have you ever seen a devotee do aarti and also time bachane ke liye laddu bhi kha raha hai aur aarti <laughs> have you seen any devotee do that laddu bhi khane ka aarti bhi karne ka time bajega actually prabhu ji initial we are as we started then it's a very tough to complete 16 round because we start from 16 round every day and we we try we never break we both so starting we uh, if it didn't finish then we start any movie and we do chanting i know it's uh, wrong but uh, we will try to finish because we never to focus and just sleepy there's a uh, many stuff now sometimes if now suppose that 11 pm we want to sleep but four round spending So it's interesting to read the Bhagavatam. So on that time we do one round chanting. So yeah, it's a yeah you can read Bhagavatam and, and then read chant. That is good. You know, it inspires you to chant. But while chanting and reading, I'm not sure. Yeah, I do one round chant and then read the Bhagavatam and then meditate okay. that ah, and then, then again do. second round okay. on that way parallel. Okay. So okay. It's okay. It's like eating laddu, then washing hands, then doing arti. <laughs> 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 Don't do both together. <laughs> yeah i understand what you are saying you need basically guidance you need some mentor who will guide you to chant see what happens many devotees they they take up too much of commitment in the initial days then they are struggling to balance better to go slow in bhakti begin with two rounds four rounds six rounds but we say nahi sola mala we begin with 16 rounds and then we are struggling ghar bhi sambhalo bacche bhi sambhalo actually prabhu ji uh, my husband is a lay off then again we commit to krishna if it's a higher then we do the so ch- around chanting then he, he started the 16 round chanting during the time of layoff also and he got again hired within two months he got uh, so that's why uh, he follow he try to follow commitment uh, from to krishna hare krishna thank you we'll stop here hare krishna shri hari naam prabhu ki jai